I've got 10 different and unique mid-journey styles for you today that you can simply add to the end of your prompt, simply separate it with a comma, and you'll get these really cool adjustments to your images. So the first style is Lino Cut Print, which is a very sort of very two-dimensional, very flat colored style of design. I've tried the woman's face and you can see not, e not only is it that flat color look, but the actual style itself is also very unique and very traditional as well. You get some very interesting looking images when using Lino Cut Print. You swap over to the car, and again, a very unique style, almost like an old fashioned picture, something you would see up on a wall. And Optimus Prime, it's done something very different. Mid Journey doesn't really do Optimus Prime too effectively, but it does create something cool. So I wanna try that out, and I really like the detail in this uh, particular image. And the samurai in front of Mount Fuji. I think this is also just a very cool, very traditional look. And if you're into that kind of artwork, uh, AI does it very well when you add line cut print to the prompt. Holography style is uh, kind of like a hologram type, kind of light style, which I thought turned out really well and really does a, a lot with images. You swap over to the woman's face and it's this very cool, almost sci-fi looking thing. The colors and the light tend to actually be uh, sort of a very neon sort of style. You add it to the Incredible Hulk and instead of him being green, he's got a bit of a green light, but he's actually purple. And I really like the way it just modifies the light of these images and creates like a real glow effect. You add to the modern family home and it's like it's built out of holographic material and you can see inside the house. I think that looks really cool, very futuristic. Um, and for some reason, there's a lounge room outside. And Pikachu, I think this was a really cool effect and it kind of has a bit of a lightning type effect around it too with this kind of crystallized holographic sort of like shape behind it. And Mickey Mouse looks like he's uh, just come through a time portal and is kind of got that really cool glowy effect. And he's got a really cool jacket on for some reason, but overall it's just, I just like what it does to the image. Glam Punk. Now this is very different because it tends to uh, really feminize people but has that unique sort of glam style to it. The uh, the Terminator, I didn't do the woman's face this week for this one because it turns most uh, things into women. So the Terminator is now a woman uh, with the glam punk thing. Still got the, the jacket, the sunglasses, but just that really cool glam punk style of woman. And Superman is actually a man this time, but just the pink hair and the way it's really changed his personality and visual identity, I think uh, this image really stands out to me. Something very cool. And Optimus Prime, like I said, it does turn a lot of characters into women. So it has turned Optimus Prime into a female Transformer. Uh, and I think that's pretty much all it's done, apart from the lipstick and that. It doesn't look uh, overly glam punk. It just looks like a female robot. But the futuristic car, very pink, very cool. It's like something Barbie would be driving in a thousand years' time. And the Incredible Hulk. Now, this one was probably the most different of them all. It didn't really have the pink female look, but... Uh, just the open, like the, the open shirt and tie underneath his muscles or over his muscles, however you look at it, it's a very different look. And overall glam punk, I know it's not necessarily a female oriented style, but it just tends to do that a lot with the images, but you do get some interesting results like this sometimes as well. A heat map. This is a very different one. This image doesn't really do it justice, but what it does to characters when you add it to Superman, it tends to have, add a heat map effect and often flames. One or the other, sometimes it's hard to tell which one you're going to get, but with Superman, we've got some flames here. The woman's face, we've got the heat map and a bit of a flame effect. This, I thought, was a very interesting kind of like low light, so like low angled light effect on that face with the blue. Uh, very cool imagery overall. In the modern home, it's got that sort of overview showing the plan. Once again, we've got a uh, the top room. It's kind of like a lounge room with a car parked in it. There's, uh, it doesn't look like there's really any doors, although there is a door there. I really like what it does with houses because you can really kind of make fun of the placement and the way it's done things. And once again, there's another room there with no doors. Um, but yeah, just an interesting, interesting image. And Mickey Mouse, and this looks like more like an actual heat map. The way it, he's transparent for some reason but I just really like it overall. The Futuristic Car has done something similar to like Mickey Mouse with the heat map, but added the flames. And it's actually not a Futuristic Car, it looks like an old fashioned car, but that's just the way it sort of translated that information. Overall, a very unique looking image. Now with this one, I really wanted to try and get a phrase I could add to get that really old fashioned rubber hose style cartoon effect, but uh, I really had to add a lot to it, like Cuphead, 1920s. I had to add a lot of descriptive words to make it happen. 
But uh, overall, Ridley does add that old-fashioned cartoon style to things. The woman's face, you can see she looks very old-fashioned and uh, even just what she's wearing is very old-fashioned. It's taken Batman and kind of made him into an actual Batman the suit, once again, that old-fashioned style. I really, really love what it's done, the way it's transformed the characters, not just the style it's drawn them in. Bruce Lee. It's really made a cartoony version of Bruce Lee, and uh, even though it kind of doesn't really look like him, there are elements of the pose, the hair, um, that uh, do kind of match up, and just that cool facial design. Very cartoony, very old-fashioned, and I really, I really like what it's done. Now, I thought the family home would be interesting. It's done a cartoony version of a family home, like, like something you would see in an old cartoon. The Terminator. This looks like a really, really harsh, old-fashioned version of the Terminator. It's got the skeleton, but it's got the Arnold Schwarzenegger hair. So a very good interpretation of this image, I think, overall. And there's a bit more to this. I've got another bonus style at the end uh, with a different variation on this, which I think worked out pretty well. Also, guys, don't forget, if you like this stuff, to give the video a like. But I've also got a mid-journey cheat sheet that you can download. It has a whole bunch of codes and parameters that you can use pretty much the idea is to go there as a reference whenever you're prompting. If you're looking for certain codes, that is linked to in the description below. So check that out if you are uh, that interests you and your sort of what you can do with Mid Journey. Frank Miller comic book art. If you've ever read The Dark Knight Returns, it's a really gritty style of comic book art. And Batman looks, uh, it's a very, very dark, very sort of adult tone. The woman's face, you can see it looks like she's sort of in the shadows of the street. Very dark, sort of like high lit sort of image with that really deep shadow, especially under the nose there. It uh, very, very much matches that aesthetic. Mickey Mouse is a very sort of liquidy looking hoodie. I don't know what the go is there, but uh, looks like he's about to jump out and do something kind of creepy and evil. The futuristic car almost has like a bit of a dystopian Mad Max type look to it. Uh, a little bit of Star Wars mixed in there, but I love the way it's drawn with all the detail and the lines. Uh, very cool interpretation of the prompt. And Bruce Lee. It kind of looks like Bruce Lee, but uh, kind of like if he was spliced with a serial killer, he does look like he's about to kill someone when he has that, when they have that look on his face. But the art style, again, very gritty, very cool. And the modern family home, similar to the car. I love the aesthetic, that kind of really, like a real kind of ugly look to it, but heaps of heaps of character and sort of uh, lines and detail that really make the, make it look pretty good. Torn paper collage. This one is quite similar to what I've done in the past, except a collage made out of torn paper. So you just get to the woman's face and there's just like bits and pieces of paper stuck on there to create that look. It's pretty straightforward. The car, again, same look, but again, it just, it does have a different, slightly more three-dimensional look to some of the other styles that are similar to this that I've sort of shown off in the past. And Batman, same again. Uh, this one kind of looks like a little bit of a painted slash sort of torn up paper look. Uh, the Samurai Mount Fuji, I love the what it's done with the sky, how it's kind of patched it all up and uh, it really does look like someone's torn up and pasted a bit of pa lots of paper together but then done a watercolour painting underneath and I really like that effect overall. And Darth Vader, the way it's sort of cut up the red pieces and vertical sort of strips in the background and it looks like he's made almost entirely out of that paper except for a few little areas, the little paint dabs, I love that crafty look it's given to this image. Now, liquid chrome is the opposite of that. Super clean 3D, but liquidy looking images. And you can see here with Batman, the liquid chrome, he actually looks like he's made out of chrome, almost, but like a liquidy sort of thing. It's kind of like adding a slight T-1000 effect to a lot of the characters. And when you add it to the woman's face, now that pose again, that angle looks very similar to other images, but with that liquid chrome effect and the reflection, very, very different looking image. The Modern Family Home, it's added a liquid chrome sort of style around that top floor, which I think is a very unique addition. And once again, shows how that that family home really takes on the characteristics of the prompt as opposed to changing the, uh, the style of the image. Samurai in front of Mount Fuji, he looks like he is standing in chrome and made out of chrome. And I just love that overall look. Has a very kind of weird semi-futuristic look to it, but also just in the past. Uh, I don't know how that sort of contrast works, but overall, I just love the way this picture looks. Mickey Mouse looks like he's melting or has just come out like the T-1000 and is about to go off into battle. But the, the whole reflection, the drips, I just love the way it's handled that image. Stencil art. Now, this didn't quite turn out the way I thought it would, but I love the effect, the idea of trying to create shapes and areas of images using stencils, except it's added a real painted dripping effect to everything. If you look at it, the woman's face, it uh, doesn't really look 100% like stencil art, but the 
The style with the harsh sort of simple colors with the dripping paint is kind of still pretty good. So I wouldn't necessarily call it stencil art, but the effect is still pretty handy. Superman, again, this one's a little less flat, a little more colorful, a little more painted, but uh, still has some really harsh blacks in there. And it really, I think that's why, how it kind of defines that stencil, by putting in harsh black and white, so really high contrast shapes to kind of try and match that effect. Same again with the Terminator, we've got a real harsh white, blacks and reds. So it's still getting that really high contrast look. And once again, the paint and the splats, I think overall looks, uh, looks pretty artistic. Now with the modern family home, it's actually looking inside the home with stencil art applied to the walls. Once again, another use of the modern family home changing things uh, in a different way. And the futuristic car, Again, it does look a little bit stencily, but a little bit too much detail. So uh, it's funny there's how the consistency can be a little low, but you still get a very definitively different effect than if you don't add stencil art in there. But overall, it's just a cool one to play with, a little bit more random, but still, try it for yourself and see what you think. Now, the tenth style before I go into the bonus style is Clock Punk. There's a lot of punk related uh, styles out there. I love playing with them, but clock punk tends to add clocks and really old fashioned aesthetics to things. If you look at the woman's face, she looks like a cyborg, but lots of gears and bits and pieces like you would see inside of a clock. But moving on to Pikachu, he's wearing a clock and has a lot of old fashioned brass looking kind of things attached to him. And this is where I think uh, you tend to see a lot of this and uh, it's a very cool effect. And you add it to Batman, he's standing in front of a giant clock. There's a lot of that clock punk sort of machinery style to him. His ears are really tall and pointy, but uh, I just love the look of this image, like a really cool 3D render. When you go to the futuristic car, it has that real, if you've ever seen the movie Time Machine, it kind of has that aesthetic to it, like a real, if it was futuristic, but from a past perspective of 100 years ago. And we've got that kind of clock punk feel added to it, even the room the car is in and just an overall really cool looking render of a car. Samurai in front of Mount Fuji. I love the way there's a massive clock behind Mount Fuji. The numbers aren't exactly accurate in the sense that they're all up the top and not around, but artistically, I love what it's done, how it's added the clock. It hasn't done a lot to that image. It's just added a clock, which I think is cool. But uh, when you play with it, it does have a lot of an, effect, of an impact on the images you add to it, usually with that brassy kind of old fashioned look. Now the bonus style is the same as before, but we've removed the word monochrome, which is Cuphead 1920s rubber hose cartoon style. Keep in mind when you add rubber hose, make it one word, because rubber hose tends to create rubber hoses. But uh, it's got that old fashioned cartoon style, but in color this time. And it is a little bit, in some ways it's the same, but you get a little bit of a different impact. Uh, this one looks almost like a vector image. The woman's face, I think it has that style to it, but very cool. Darth Vader, the way it's kind of turned him into a toon, a little tiny cartoon character. This is the kind of impact that I love. And this, when you remove monochrome, I find this happens a little bit more often. So when you move to Superman, it's changed him completely. Again, we've got the high, the pants that are pulled up high with the belt and that whole really old fashioned toon style add to Superman. I don't know why I gave him a moustache, but uh, it seems to work. Uh, some of the other Supermans I did didn't have moustaches, but I just I loved the way it modified this one, but still kept the S. And I tell you what, AI has really come a long way in its way of sort of mixing elements and styles together. The Incredible Hulk looks like an old-fashioned cartoon character, but a little bit more modern this time. But uh, overall, still a really cool transformation on his look. And a powerful warrior. I love the way it's got the different sized eyes, that toony look to it, and uh, it just. It just looks really cool. It's a really cool cartoony style. It's worth experimenting with. So it's a longer one, Cuphead 1920s rubber hose cartoon style. But I highly recommend having a play and seeing what characters you can make using this particular phrase. So those are the styles for this week, guys. We got 11. So I said 10 at the start, but with a bonus style, that's actually 11. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please consider giving it a like. And again, if you want that prompt sheet, check out the link below. Otherwise, have a great day and I hope to see you again soon.